I call upon Madam Chaudhry, and the speaker after that will be Mr. Yong Kok from the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Madam Chaudhry. Distinguished delegates, it is a very special pleasure for me as the elected chairperson of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association to represent the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, CPA, in this August gathering of members of parliaments from all around the globe. Commonwealth Parliamentarian Association, CPA, is a unique platform of national as well as state legislatures, consisting of 181 member parliaments across nine regions of Commonwealth, CPA plays an instrumental role in bringing the voices of the people of Commonwealth, 2.4 billion, to the center of discourse of democracy and development. Commonwealth, a family of nations of 52 countries, stands the test of time in upholding the cherished values of democracy, rule of law, human rights, and sustainable development. CPA works with not only national parliaments, but also reaches out to hear and include the voices of the people at the grassroots level and to bring in convergence of diverse perspectives. CPA celebrates diversity, the strength and beauty of Commonwealth. It allows all members an equal voice in a participatory and democratic manner, ensuring greater inclusiveness. Founded in 1911, the CPA is committed to the principles of parliamentary democracy and good governance. CPA aims to enhance knowledge and understanding of democratic governance and to build an informed parliamentary community that is able to deepen the cooperation among legislatures. There are several overlapping thematic areas of common focus between the Interparliamentary Union, IPU, and the CPA, and also in membership. CPA wants to promote greater cooperation and collaboration to multiply our efforts and avoid duplication. CPA works to empower youth parliamentarians. CPA Bangladesh branch launched CPA Youth Roadshow on Parliamentary Democracy to attract youth into politics and leadership and has reached 8,000 youth so far in different regions across Commonwealth. The Commonwealth Parliamentary Association is committed to promote gender equality. CPA is administering a series of programs like lecture series, courses on parliamentary democracy offered to parliamentarians in universities in South Africa and Canada, and many more such programs. Distinguished delegates, we meet at a time of political uncertainty globally and, are, and a growing populism that is questioning the very foundation of our democratic institutions and our values of inclusion and diversity. The need is ever more greater and urgent today for the parliamentarians to come together to reaffirm in solidarity of our shared values of tolerance, inclusivity, peace, and democracy. Let us embrace this opportune moment and turn it to our advantage. Let the voices of the people from around the globe resonate and dominate the discourse of democracy. It is only through our collective efforts that we can eliminate all forms of inequality and violence and give voice to the vulnerable who are suffering discrimination and oppression. Let it be our resolve to ensure every individual a life with dignity. The goals that we set up for ourselves may seem ambitious. There may be mountains to climb and rivers to forge, but they are achievable. I will conclude by citing Robert A. Needham, author of Collaborative Commonwealth, where he uses a concept of water and Commonwealth believes the essence of any great ocean, river, or stream begins with one drop. Drops come in all sizes, shapes, and forms, just like people. Each unique drop was created for a purpose, and so were you. 
This purpose will change throughout the life of a drop, which is called emergence. Like you, water can be used over and over again to cause its environment to flourish, change, evolve, and renew. Metaphor of water is used to show how each individual aligns with others to form streams. Streams then merge to become rivers, which have power and are movements. These rivers merge to create oceans of great potential to accomplish anything they set their thoughts to. And this is what Commonwealth oppose. Thank you, distinguished delegates. Madam Chaudhry, thank you very much indeed for your kind comments.